What's up everybody? This is your boy Chris Reed Beats back with another video. In this video, we are continuing our tutorial series A to Z in Reason Studios. In this video, we will be covering the quad node generator. Now the quad node generator is a player inside of Reason 12 and it allows you to generate MIDI notes very quickly. This quad node generator features four lanes of note generation and with it, you can create some really cool melodies and you can use it in combination with other players and effects to give you really cool sounds in your music. Let's jump into Reason so we can check out the quad node generator. I'm here in Reason where we have a file open where we can check out the quad node generator. Let's take a listen. What's really cool about this track is 90% of it was made using the quad note generator. So let's go ahead and check out that first melody line that you hear on the opening parts of the track. As you can see with this quad note generator, only one lane is being used. So that's why this lane is on. If we were to turn on the other lanes, then we can add more notes into this melody. But right now we like this melody. So let's take a look at this quad note generator. Right in the middle of the quad note generator, you have your sequencer window where it is generating your MIDI notes. Right above that, you have your sequencer button or your key button. And what that does is if it's on sequencer and you press play, it will begin to play out the notes. Or if you choose the key function, then as you press a key on your MIDI keyboard, it will begin to generate notes based on that key. Right next to it is the master vary knob. Now, when you have your master vary knob all the way up, then it will begin to add variation to all of the different aspects inside of the quad note generator. Each of these aspects, including velocity, note length, variation of your pattern and your variation of your pitch can be adjusted and your master vary adjusts overall how much variation will happen within the quad note generator. The freeze is a very powerful tool for the quad note generator. As the quad note generator is creating MIDI notes, you can activate the freeze by moving your length and you can also select certain parts by adjusting the start and length knobs. If you just want the full length of whatever has been generated, then you can set your start to zero and set your length to four. This will store the MIDI notes that have been generated. Moving more to the right, we have this output section. So you can set it to poly, mono high, mono low, mono last, and mono line. The poly feature means that it will play all the notes together if it is in the MIDI note generator. So if you have one or two or three notes playing together, the those notes will play together. When you select mono high, it will play the notes in a monophonic way, meaning it will only play one note at a time. And if there are two notes playing at the same time, then it will choose the higher note to play instead of the lower notes. If it is set to mono low, it's the same monophonic playing, but it will select the lowest note. Mono last means it will play one note at a time and the last note in the note line takes priority. And lastly, mono line. Mono line means depending on which line is activated, it will take priority. So line one takes priority over line two, line two takes priority over three and so on. You can also set your quad note generator to a specific scale, which really unlocks the power because of course, if you're using players inside of Reason, then you can set all of your players to the same scale and key, and you know that your song will be in the right scale and the right key. So you have the selection to select what bass root note you're gonna start with, and you also have these different scales that you can choose from. Down at the bottom, you have a master octave setting, which allows you to raise your octave up one one or two steps and it allows you to drop your octave down one or two steps. So how do we actually start generating notes with the quad note generator? 
So the first thing I want to show you about generating notes with the quad note generator is that you need to move in small increments. You need to think about this from one part of the quad note generator all the way to the last part. And you need to make small adjustments. So right here we have our main melody line, but let's go ahead and add a new quad note generator to the same patch. We'll set it to sequence and then we'll hit run. So right there, we have some variation with pitch just on line one, starting with our pitch section. So with pitch, you have variation. You have a variation wheel for your pitch and you have a spread wheel. So spread will say how far apart do you want the pitch to actually play? So if it's very high, then you will get very large leaps in your pitch changes. Let's add in some very so we can really hear the change. So now you can see that the notes are much more spread apart between the actual octaves of this note. So if we turn our spread down, the notes are much more tighter. And if we turn our spread up, the notes are much more spread apart. So that's our pitch. Now we can also change the range in which we want those notes to change. So we can set our range really, really high and really, really low. Or we can set a very specific range that we want our notes to be changing from. Say we only want it to go up five, but we don't want it to go down at all. As we increase the range, we'll be able to get more notes in the upper register. but we see that there are no notes coming down below our bass key, which is C in this case. And of course we can change that to the opposite as well. We can set this to where it does not raise and it only goes down. So that's our pitch section. Down below we have the rhythm section. You can change the amount of steps you wanna have from one all the way up to 32. So you can play quarter notes, 3 16th notes, quarter triplets, eighth notes, you know, you have the whole gambit of rate that you can choose from. Let's hear what they sound like. Shift will change when the line will actually start playing the pattern. So if we shift it one, then we won't start on the one, we'll actually start after the one. The best way to recognize this is to have another line going. As you can see, line two, which is represented by the green color, is playing on the one, while line one, which is represented by the orange color, is now starting on the two. And we can continue to raise our rhythm line shift and get more dramatic changes. One of the reasons why I said the changes on the quad note generator are very small and incremental is because depending on what you change, that is going to completely alter what notes are being generated. So changing the pattern will actually change how the notes are being generated. 
So you have a range from one all the way to 32, 32 different patterns. And one represents the least amount of notes being generated, while 32 represents the most amount of notes being generated. <laughs> So if there are 32 steps in your rhythm and you set your pattern to 32, then that means there's a note being played on every single step. Let's change this to 16 now. So your pattern can change because one just means there's going to be one note being played. Two means there's going to be two notes played and so on and so forth. You wanna take your time and select the pattern that you need to create the notes that you wanna create. Or you can skip all of that and just turn your vary up and just let it vary what pattern is being selected and what amount of notes are being generated. As you can see, it's varying. It's very random how many notes are being generated. Sometimes it's gonna generate five, sometimes one, sometimes 16. It really just depends on what the variation chooses. So if you raise your bias higher, then your variation of your patterns will still be on the more note side. If you raise it lower, then you will get less notes. So variation between the less notes. So think of it as like a range for your rhythm. Same way you have a range for your key and pitch, you also have a range for your rhythm. And your bias will set your range depending on how you turn your bias. So you will either have a range of a lot of notes when you leave your bias random, or you will have a range of less notes, or you will have a range of more notes. <laughs> So as you can see, it's still varying how many notes are being played, but it's varying on the left side more than it is on the right side. What if you just left that in the middle or if you left that at zero, then it will vary between a lot of notes and a little bit of notes. Now, note length is where we actually begin to get some more variation happening with the notes that are being generated, because as you increase your note length, then you go from just having quarter notes, eighth notes and then to whole notes. And of course, you also get a variation on your note length. So if you turn that up, then you will get some short notes and you'll get some long notes. <laughs> Lastly, you have your velocity. So if you turn your velocity up, then you will actually get some variation in your velocity or you turn your velocity down. It will change how much of your velocity is affecting the notes in that line. And you can have a variation between that velocity as well. So when you add all of the variation together with your master vary, that's how you get the quad note generator working at its fullest potential because you have all of these different variations happening and you're going to get different combinations of these MIDI notes being generated every single time it plays through your pattern. So right here on this section of the song, we added a quad note generator with the scales and chords to produce this chord sound. And to generate this, all I did was actually add the quad note generator and I added the scales and chords underneath it with the ID8 synth. For this patch, we turned down the pitch variation so that it's only playing the bass note. We also turned up the note length vary so that we get some variation in our note length so we get some long notes and some short notes. And that gave us this pattern.
if we listen to the track, then we can hear there's a part where the track actually raises in pitch. And I'll show you guys how we did that. With the quad note generator, you can actually change the bass key by playing on your keyboard or by drawing in notes on your MIDI lane. So here I can show you guys, I drew in these notes and that actually gave us our pitch change in the quad note generator. Right now it's playing on C. But now it's moved down to F2. And then it's going to make another jump to G. And of course, it's actually playing in the C minor pentatonic scale. One thing that I thought was really cool was being able to flip the rack and take the CV outs for your gate and note and actually add that to other instruments. So what I did was I took the quad note generator that's generating this patch. <laughs> And I added the CV output from the gate and note to our subtractors gate and CV. And what that did was that actually copied or mimicked the bass notes from the quad note generator into the subtractor bass. Just like with all the players in Reason, if you hit this send to track button, it will send the MIDI notes within a certain loop that you designate and it will draw those notes out for you. So in that way, you don't have to continue to use the player. Once you've created your idea and once you've got your MIDI note idea done, you can simply hit send to track and it will create those notes for you. The quad note generator is a really cool player inside of Reason, giving you the ability to actually play along with your chords and generate other MIDI notes, as well as create full melodies using the quad note generator's different lines. You can have up to four lines of notes being generated. And with that, you can just create some really cool arps, melodies, chords, all kinds of things can be created with this quad note generator. I hope that you guys can see the power of the quad note generator and that you give it a try in your music production. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to get subscribed because we have many more tutorial videos coming up in this A to Z series. My name is Chris Reed. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.